on to the last set poem today. Klein geloof. Small belief. This is about uh, fantasy and reality. About childhood beliefs. Die geloftes wat jy het, wanneer jy klein is, when you're small, when you're a child. And real, provable, factual stuff. And it also then, because it gets religious at the end, it also then is about the size of your belief or your faith. If you have a small belief, then you're not very committed, faithful, if you are a person of faith. The poet begins by unpacking all the traditional childhood fantasies, beliefs, Father Christmas, the tooth mouse, dragons, right which are not real there's a point in life it's like a devastating point if you i remember finding my mother had a little jar of my baby teeth it's a little bit creepy but um i was like oh my gosh there's no tooth mouse no no insta bunny she then goes on to talk about things that are scientific facts and real that she's obviously learned through education and then in, finally comes around to going but then why then do I get scared uh, in the dark, monsters under the bed, and then ask for the prince on the donkey to rescue me? And that is an allusion. An allusion is when you, in Afrikaans, the word for allusion is sinspielen. Unless you're going for your A's, don't worry about that. Sinspielen. S-I-N-S-P-E-L-I-N-G. Sinspielen is allusion. She's alluding to the prince on the donkey is Christ who, when he returned to Bethlehem, came in on a donkey. Okay, and that whole thing of like being, saving, rescuing, saving people from their sins. There is that very biblical, New Testament biblical illusion that's clear at the end there. Let's dig into the poem. Please will you have a look at, like, let's just structurally look at it. The rhyme scheme, again. It's a loose rhyme, they're getting steel, sleer, Ma and man is loose. You've got versteer achter ear. Uh, so there is a gebroke rein. Bet and red. But there's no specific, it's not like pa rein of kreis rein. Of omarmde rein. Notice the punctuation and the capitals. The topography of the poem, she writes the heading with no capitals. Klein geloof. Which beklemt toon dat die geloof net klein is. Small important disproved dismissed and notice that she all the way along kabota cash father father christmas tant mace they all in small letters and yet armstrong neil armstrong is in caps because armstrong was a real actual person okay she's also written realisma feta wetenskap in capital letters because those are real and provable ek kan bewijs i can prove it in caps and it's all capital letters until she then prints is in caps. And so the suggestion there is that Jesus is also real. And I mean, historically, whether, whether you are a person of Christian belief or not, the person Jesus did exist. That's not, that's not disputed. Whether it's the prince and um, son of God is, is according to people's belief. And obviously the poet's belief. The poet is obviously a Christian. Die kabouter, the, that's your um, lawn gnome, your garden gnome. Die kabouter is uit my tuin gesteel, en kersvare kom nooit meer op sy slee. Die tandemuis was net my ma, en paddeprinse is amphibie. Armstrong was die man op die maan, en my melkskommel weg het verseer, drake, is dinosaurusse, lichtkastele is architecteer, en ek het al my sprookies brand gesteek. Realisme, feite, wetenskap. Ek kan bewys. Maar waarom slaap ek met my licht nog aan? Stoei met die monsters onder my bed, en waarom bid ek elke dag, dat die prins op die donkie my moet red? Okay, so, we know that there is a wending, a turn in this poem, and that is shown of aangeweest dier die woord 
Mar. So we have a turn from this kind of like the disillusionment of, of you know, as an adult, um, finding out all this stuff is not real. Let's have a look in English. The garden gnome was stolen from my garden. Um, and I think the fact that she mentions the garden gnome, the actual thing that was stolen, implies that these magical beliefs were stolen from her through science, facts, realism. Santa will never come again with a sleigh. Tooth Mouse was just my mom. Frog princes are just amphibians. And we know that that word amphibians also shows the Vietnam Skaplika, the scientific notion of it. Armstrong was the man on the moon. Here we have a thing connecting back to the man on the moon, like the previous poem. The first one's Dada Keka. It's not real, but Armstrong actually was real. He went to the moon. My Milky Way, the stars, has turned sour. So it was like connects nicely with Dada Keka, that whole idea of like dreaming, wishing upon the magical of the stars. Like, you know, that's turned sour, just like a milkshake. Because I know that they stars, they balls of gas and many of them are actually dead and burnt out and we're just seeing the light still. Dragons are dinosaurs. Dragons aren't actually, they never existed, they were probably just dinosaurs. Sky castles, castles in the sky actually like, no, castles are architecture. They're not like, like real built stuff, not up in the sky. Realism, fact, science. Okay, um, in English we would call that a syndeton, the absence of ands and buts and, and joining conjunctions which clear there's not ends there's no in and this and this and this i can prove exclamation mark i can prove stuff then we have the term but why do i sleep with my light on wrestles with the monsters under my bed monsters under the bed could be um any fears and stresses anxieties even irrational fears and why do I pray every day that the prince on the donkey must save me? You could interpret that both ways. It could be like, well, actually, there are things that are magical and mystical and that we can't prove with science that are actually also real. And the fact that the, P, the prince with the P is shown, and that is like God, religion, whatever your, your, your faith might be. She might also be saying, I can prove all this stuff, so why, why, why am I actually being such a pop and still praying? Is it so deeply ingrained in me? Is she also saying that religion and belief on the person and the donkey is, is as much magical thinking as believing in Father Christmas? And you could argue both. I think the fact that the writer has written Prince with a capital, along with realism, fact, science, and Armstrong, it becomes an easier argument in answering the exam to say that they are definitely saying that that is also real. As real as. Let's look at the rhyme scheme. Uh, yeah. It's A, B, C, B. A, B, C, B. E, F, G. So we have A, B, C, B, A, B, C, B. When she's talking about all the things from her childhood, magical beliefs, then we just get... We, this is a... So there's two quatrains, basically, and then a triplet, um, which is a, a tersina. Thank you. Tersina, T-E-R-S-I-N-E. Tersina is a triplet. This is all the realism. And the rhythm changes, and the rhyme changes, and then she goes back with A, B, C, B into the final couplet, which is going back to belief and stuff that we cannot touch, see, and prove through realism science and facts okay let's see how you do with the questions okay. so in the real ian in line one see the spreker die kabouter is uit my teen gesteel what is the vergeelike betekenis van die boogenoomde woorde? What is the figurative meaning? So literally it means she had a little lawn garden gnome and somebody stole it out. What does it figuratively mean? Anyway, yeah? 
seeing as I got you there, Hayden, what did you say? Okay. I said, uh, it was that our drama is bad for like calm. Okay, you probably would actually go, oh, drama is weg. The simplest thing is that, say is nie meer a kind nie. Say is nie meer a kind nie. Or, say glo nie meer in die dinge, wat say as kind geglo het nie. So you could say, she's not a child anymore, the easiest one. Say is nie meer a kind nie. The kabota is gone. She doesn't have the dreams she had as a child. She doesn't have the beliefs she had as a child. Any of those, right? Noem twee van die spreke sy klein geloofies, wat nou dier feite vervang is. So it's just a question, is name two, two of the speakers small beliefs that are now ex- replaced by facts. Jess? Um, the cow's father and the tender mace. Yeah, you could have said, cow's father, tender mace, padderprinse, drake, lichtkastele, yeah, any of those. Okay. Op watte tweer woorde is melk skommel weg a woord speling. On what two words is melk skommel weg a, 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 um, a pun, I guess, woord speling. Yes, a milkshake, a melk skommel in melk weg. It's a word play on a milkshake and milky way. Melk skommel en melk weg. She's put it all together. My milkshake way. Die gebruik van die hoofletters in Real Elf is om te beklem toon. Wat wil die dichte met die gebruik van die hoofletters beklem toon? Die climax van die gedig is simply the answer there. Or you want to say, say wil spanning bou, but she wants to beklem toon dat dit die climax van die gedig is. Or you could say, say beklem toon, dat sy glo nie in goed, wat nie kan bewys word nie, of dit beklem toom, dat sy net in feite glooi, glo, glo, so that she only believes in facts, anything like that. If you wrote something else, and you want to hear if it's right or wrong, uh, ask, but if you went, the beklem toom, dat is die klimas, gewoon die ver, uh, gedig, voor die wending, before the, before the turn, apps, 100%. Next. Speaking of wending, wending is the turn in the in in the in the poem, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you just now, six point five. So be ready for me. Okay, let's have a look. Six point five. Dallas, what's the answer? Uh, in line 12. Yes, Mark. Okay, you always look for those. Those are easy marks. Um, what's our, if you know, what's the regeer die gebruik van die woord nog in real 12? Hoe hoe die spreke oor die donke vol? 6.6, anybody? Mm-hmm. I said, say, so, don't it know. So, like, um, she still has the light okay. on. So, to really land the the mark, you need to say, what, don't say no, Hayden, to be okay. specific. So, just remember, don't assume that your examiner thinks you know what you're talking about. you got it. Specific, specific, specific. Okay, so, what, don't say no, say for me. Say, oh, the look. On no, I don't know. Say how do you look on no? Net so say as kind dit aangehou het. The no okay. means stop means. So what you, what it, what that implies is that she's always slept with the light on. Noem een van die boodskappe wat die dichter met die gedig probeer oordra. Name one of the messages that the poet is trying to give across with the gedig. Did you know any of those, Cole? And Tristan, one message. Okay, so there are a number of messages. One of the messages could be that you find out that childhood fantasies are not real, or childhood uh, magische dinge van van jou kinderwereld is nie is nie waar nie. Ja. I said, um, groot mense het ook klein geloof. Yes, big people have also got small believe in, in, in things like monsters under the bed. Yes. Another another message that could be coming across through this poem? 
this poet is, is trying to say. And remember, if, the po if you say what the poet is saying, it doesn't mean that you necessarily believe it yourself. But the poet is saying Jesus is just as real as Neil Armstrong. Another message is we can outgrow our childhood fantasies, but we don't outgrow our childhood fears. Verduidelik die rede vir die verandering wat van strofe 1 tot strofe 3 plaas vind. Explain the difference it changes from strofe 1 to strofe 3. Anybody? In strofe 1, die, die kabouter wat gesteel is, is a werkelijke ding. It's a cement real thing that was stolen. Dit symboliseer, it symbolizes a childhood, maar die tandmees, kerstvader en die tandmees, was nooit werkelijke dinge. So it's a difference between something that was stolen. There's, we have no reason to believe that she didn't have a garden known that was actually stolen. And she's using that to symbolize, finding out the truth about those other childhood myths and fantasies. In wat a versreels in die gedig, kom daar eind reim voor. Skryf nie, uh, slechts die twee nommers van die versreels neer. But there's more than two. Isn't it the second and the fourth? Ja, yeah, it's, it, it's two and four, and six and eight, and thirteen and fifteen. Oh, they're asking versreels. I thought they were asking like stroof. Okay. Ja, versreels, ja. Well done for focusing all the way to the end and well done for investing some time in your future marks. It's gonna pay off. If you'd love us to keep creating free content that's relevant to your matric exams, not just Afrikaans Gedichte, we do have other subjects and other topics coming up. Please like and subscribe and share this with all your friends. And don't forget to follow us on all our socials. The details are in the description below. Thank <laughs> you.